everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here, and I have another traveling haul for you. So excited about it, and I have with me my sister. It's my husband's sister, Kim, and she's helping me out, and this is her first time doing that, so she's not too excited about being on camera, <laughs> but she's going to help me out. It's going to be fun. We are in Texas, and uh, we went to two Dollar Trees, one in Lumberton, and one in Silsby. The one in Silsby is actually Dollar Tree Plus, so you'll see some fun things from the Dollar Tree Plus section, which is really nice, and you're gonna wanna run out and get those. So let's just get started with it. All right, so a couple of things that we found from the Dollar Tree Plus section at the store in Silsby is this adorable, let's see if we can get it up there, this adorable easel sign. It is cute, you just open it up, and it stands, it's a little uh, like a, a sandwich sign. And then Kim, it is a chalkboard on the other side. Is that so cute? And this was a $5 item, but you know, for Easter, what a fun thing to have to decorate or for a party or any kind of thing for $5. I mean, really nice. And then we also found this beautiful uh, flag four or five dollars and we're gonna put this in our pergola and it is so nice it is big too I don't know if it says what size yeah it does it's a 25 21.65 inch by 13.38 inches that's big yes it was the the five dollars right there and I think you could put a sealer on there if you want to make sure if you're gonna put it outside you just want to make sure that you know it's sealed good Anyway, we have several bags here to show you. So we found these two uh, little silicone bunnies and you could you can bake in these called a baking mold and it's pretty good size. And aren't they cute? Both colors, right, Kim? Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then what else do we have in here? Let's see. Got all kinds of bunny tails or pom-poms. And um, this one, I had this one at home from the Crafter Square and it is 24 for a dollar. But then they have the larger ones, you get 18 for a dollar. And I, I will tell you, they don't always have these um, all year. So you may want to pick them up if you anticipate needing any of those. Let's see what else we got. Oh, stickers. Now you know how I am about stickers and they did have some new ones. I have to tell you, these were great, greatly stocked stores, just saying. So you can see I found some fun stickers. I'm just gonna show you what I found. This is 15 piece pop-up flowers. I know some of you are gonna wanna look for these stickers. And then this is a cute, fun one for celebrating. Now, if you haven't seen my husband's uh, make your own birthday card with Dollar Tree stickers. <laughs> You're gonna wanna see that video, I'm just saying. Anyway, this is fun too. This is a rub-on uh, transfer that you can put on something large like your notebook or something. This is best day ever. And the butterflies, aren't they beautiful and colorful? You get, uh, how many do you get here? 15. And then they did have, now they had some stamps at this store too, which my stores, haven't been carrying the stamps for some reason. So they had the packets of stamps. These are $1.25, as you know, they went up. Um, the Hummingbirds of Birds. And I got two of those just in case I need to give something away, you know. And then uh, this one for love and kiss, and it has the little mailbox with love coming out of it, little hearts. And then I did pick up another one of those. Anticipating, right? All right, they also had some sewing needles and they have the larger ones too. I haven't seen this package at Dollar Tree before, so I thought I would tell you about that. And then this cute set with the uh, birthday. Kevin could do a really good card nice with that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's another set of stands with the butterflies and the dragonfly. Isn't that cute? I just think it's cute. Do you like to stamp, Kim? I do. All right. And then travel and summer are big, big now. And we have all these fun stickers coming in and then one more set with flowers. So if you're looking for stickers, I mean, keep an eye out. Let's see if we can put these in there. And what else did we have in here? Oh, 
I did want to show you, won't show that. I did want to show you this fun game. If anybody remembers, like Simon, what was it called? Simon Says. Simon Says. Anyway, um, you turn it on and it'll start playing and then you just follow it. And then if you lose, right? <laughs> anyway, if you're looking for something for your Easter baskets, that might be the fun thing to do there. All right, another bag. Now in this one, you can see I found some of these fun bunny um, little headbands with the bunnies. I got three different colors and I thought they would be fun for um, making like a garland or something, but these are so cute, Ken. Do you want to wear one? Okay. You do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? You're good? No. <laughs> She's good. Okay. Um, then also I found this fun. It's days until your big day. And sometimes we like to count down, you know, to a party or a wedding day or something. And it's a chalkboard on here and you just count down or like a big vacation to Disneyland. Right. right. Also, I did find, yeah, I've got both of them here, the answer buzzers. Now, these are so cute for maybe your classroom or your kids uh, or if you play games or um, with a group and you have to buzz in for an answer. You just punch the buzzer and I couldn't believe I found these for so inexpensive. And then they had this fun mesh ribbon. They had different colors. They had about four different colors, five different colors, but I did get the straw and the lighter like beige and then the green. They had a really bright white and a brown also. Then the next thing I wanted to show you is metal ribbon. Have you seen metal ribbon at Dollar Tree before? I have not. And so they had uh, different designs. So I picked these up. They are, they do feel metal. I mean, they say they're metal and they feel metal. Um, it's just uh, one inch wide and four and a half feet. So really cute designs. That's that one. And then this one looks really regal and elegant. And then they had this one, really cool. So let me know if your stores have been carrying uh, these metal ribbon, that's new to me. Then one of the stores I went in had a really huge crafters section. So I put, um, I'll put some pictures at the end to kind of show you, but um, they had these, they had a lot of uh, fabric and so I picked up a couple designs that I thought would be fun to show you, which uh, the camo and then the bicycles would be fun to do a journal for um, summer. And then they have this cute, it's called a marquee light and it's a little cloud and I'm not gonna pull the little uh, thing out, but it has an on off switch on the back and the little lights light up. That would be fun for an Easter basket, I think, like a little night light or something. Anyway, lots of fun uh, things that I hadn't seen before at Dollar Tree. All right, so you know I love the signs there and we don't have to use them just the way that they have them, but we're gonna show you these fun ones that we found um, at the store. So one thing that you might be interested in is a little windmill for your garden or to hang up um, and it goes round just like the wind will blow it. And it's really fun. It says welcome. They had this darker kind of black color and then they had the kind of lighter, almost the um, patina looking. So that was fun. And then little baby wood chicks for fun uh, crafting for Easter or spring. And then here are these fun signs. Okay guys, I'm just saying you're gonna love these. All right, has anybody seen these? Okay, here's the truck with the carrots. They did have a truck with eggs too. The gnome bunny with his own chocolate bunny in his little hands. Now these two are very country and you've got the little bunnies and I just love the black and white with the wood grain in the background. Really, really cute. Then this one with the uh, blue check in the background. So cute. It's uh, Easter Market, annual Easter Market. Very cute. And then the two that look like your, um, your cutting boards. 
super cute. I mean, if you're having a party, you got decorations easy. And then they had some light up signs. These are the LED and they're little bunny lights. How cute is that? Just make your own little um, wreath or you know centerpiece and put a little lights in there. That'd be fun. And then look at these e these eggs. These are not eggs. These are carrots. <laughs> But look how big they are. I mean, and they're on picks. Uh, you get two. Uh, it doesn't say how big they are, but they're about six inches, just the carrot, I imagine. And adorable. I mean, I have not seen that anywhere. Have you seen that, Kim? No, ma'am. No. And then they have initials. Now, I didn't see them at the second I store we went to. But if you wanted to hang the initials, paint these and hang them on an Easter basket, they have initials with the bunny ears and the little cotton tail, so you could paint them as kind of a decoration. And don't forget, if you are, in, are interested, uh, weren't there sugar-free caramels at Dollar Tree? And if you gotta have a little sweet fix there, they have it. They got you covered. Okay, let's put this away. Let's see. All right, we don't wanna forget the cutest sign that Kim found at Dollar Tree, which is your gnome bunnies with welcome. And it is really cute sign. And I, I don't know if I've seen it at our store, but have you seen it at your store? That's your favorite, right? Yes. <laughs> if you're still, if you still haven't found enough to decorate with, they have the metal carrot, cute. And then they had a few more signs, but these are not Easter related that I did want to pick up and show you. So they had the love and, oops, I'm all caught here. The love and the home signs with the little green wreath, which you could actually decorate more if you wanted to. So cute. And I just love that. And then <clears throat> for your laundry room, if you had lost socks, now I was planning on doing a lost socks, um, a bigger uh, sign, but this is so cute. I just couldn't pass it up. You just hang the extra sock on the clothespin and put that in your laundry room and then you can take care of it. You know, somebody lost their sock. And this is Kim's, I think. Is this yours? <laughs> this is a solar dancer. So when you take him out and the light hits, he's going to shake all over. That's yours. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, inspire, you know that I love on my channel and inspire you to create. So I did pick up this sign just to put in my office, my youth studio. Inspire. And if you need a little file folder, I just thought this was a happy one with the rainbow. And you can store your receipts or whatever in here, pictures, whatever, or even your uh, ephemera and stuff for decorating your cards. If you don't have a lot, just put them in there and you'll know where they are. So let's put this away. Okay, so just a couple more bags. One thing that I did want to show you, you can use for crafting or on your tables. They do have the doilies. Now you can't find them at every one, I, I must say, but you get two and they are cloth doilies and you can use them in your journals and all kinds of things. So if you're looking for that, and then, of course, my husband was in the store with me, so he found a Dallas Cowboy uh, neck pillow, and he likes to use these, so he got that. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to watch who you take shopping with you. That's the moral to that story. All right, just a couple more things, not that much, but you can see we found a lot of things we hadn't seen at the other stores. So got a couple of happy Easter buckets, and you could use these to put all kinds of fun stuff in. Um, you could even put your utensils for your Easter dinner in there and, you know, just let everybody help themselves. They also had some fun um, little bowls. Um, it's called a ruffle tray, but you've got the little um, carrots and such a fun little plastic tray and then the bunnies. So these would e this would even be cute, like for uh, a baby shower gift and put all your goodies in there and then wrap it up in one of those big bags that Dollar Tree sells for like baskets, mm -hmm. so that would be cute. And then they did have a gnome bunny little basket. So I thought that was cute. They had blue and pink. 
They also have these little ice cube trays, but as Kim was telling me, they use these to melt crayons in, and then when they pop them out, they come out with the cute shape. So they did that for preschool, is that what you did? Yeah, so you could do that too. And then the last thing that I have are some of these little wooden, um, they're like little wooden pallets, but they're a little bit bigger than the ones that I had picked up before. And I thought these would be fun for a craft as well. So I went ahead and picked up four of those. And that's it, Kim, what do you think? great haul. It was great. A great haul. So thanks so much for watching. If you're in the Silsby or the Lumberton, Texas area, go by, visit the Dollar Tree. Uh, tell them Cindy A. Lewis, you saw their store on there on my channel. And if you don't mind, go ahead, like this video, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to enter on the March 1st video for the giveaway that will be March 31st. You can enter every single day and all the details are below plus the link to go enter. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks Kim for helping me out. Appreciate it. So glad I got to see you. Bye. I gotta give her a hug.